Wow, what a morning! Woo! Thursday, finally, the week keeps waxing stronger and stronger and would like to believe that you have been a key contributor to making this week a whole lot better. We also appreciate uh, that you have tuned in over the last couple of days to watch us and of course, we know that it's been worth your while. Now it's three hours of amazing, fun, entertainment, so much more on Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Titi Laya Owens. I am Mike Mesikeno. Remember, we are streaming live at tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Now you can comment on social media with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. You can also download our mobile app. We have it on Android, we have it on iOS. Please take us along with you. All those mobile devices need our app right now. All right, it's Thursday. Let's get you straight into all that we have in store for you this morning. Kolade David Odikpe, popularly known as Ferre Jesu, a saxophonist and musicologist, will be giving us our first musical performance of the day. Our regular Thursday art display today has Sam Overighty. He will be joining us. Uh, the beautiful world of contemporary art in media, painting, drawing, mixed media and sculpting is what we are dealing on today. And in the world of tech, the world actually runs on technology now. And who else can better explain it? Mike is going to be letting us in on what's new in the world of tech. And then Temi Tokbe Omoto Shore, the author of the book Once Upon a First Love, will be joining us on our book chat this morning. That should be quite interesting. Yeah, Once Upon a First Love. Sounds like a, you know, some kind of musical. <laughs> Looks like a great book. And we'll be talking to her soon. Now, for another musical performance, we have MP3 Musical Band. <laughs> nice name, MP3. Thursday. Lastly, joining us with her funny videos is social media sensation, Mariam Adedui, also known as Tauma on Instagram. Now, we'll find out what makes her tick. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, there are a lot of social media sensations these days, a lot of them, so many. Tauma is definitely one of them, and we'll be talking to her. It's a lady, yeah? Tauma. Yeah, right? it's Tauma, a lady. Soon enough. So, MM has been sighing. I've, been, I've heard her sigh like three times. Like, <sighs> okay, so what, what's going on, MM? What's it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been Titi. sighing. I've heard you sigh like three times. <laughs> How do you know it's not celebration, it's celebrating? It was right. celebration sigh. Oh, yeah, so I had, I had, I had um, um, an issue with my little maid yesterday. Uh -oh. um, I noticed that I told her to look for something for me, and then she put my clothes on the floor in the course of looking for it. So I freaked out. Like, why would you throw my clothes on the floor? Like, you could have kept it anywhere else. I decided to keep it on the floor. Okay. So I was, I was um, somewhere, and because I was ready, I was short as much as I was sleeping. Oh wow! And my nanny now up. came into the room. And she was like, "Em, why are your clothes on the floor?" Mm. And I'm like, "Why would I put my clothes on the floor?" Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> and little girl was just standing there. It's me. <laughs> she did not say it's her. What was it? You get, it was her. <laughs> because, well, no one else would have put my clothes on the floor, oh, even not her. Okay, so, okay, you okay. Have, do, you have, do you have CCTV in your house? Uh, uh, that was another question. But she actually was the one who, threw it, who, put, who put the clothes on you the know floor. That, you know that the spiritual <laughs> is wow. more real point? than the physical. <laughs> well, it's so, my... So, my point is that... So, I, I, freaked out, I, I, freaked I, out on, I freaked out on her, and then, you know, like... You know, so that, you know, when you just go to bed in that mood and then you just wake up and, you know, you're still what reeling she from she that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Are we having this discussion? I don't get it. Wait, hold on, okay, hold so, on. so I've noticed... Let me see what I want to say. Mike, now. I've noted something. Let me see what I want to say. I've noted something. There are a lot of things that just... So they say, you know, God forgive me, common sense isn't as common as we think. It's not, for, it's not going to you know, forgive you. And <laughs> what you are thinking as a simple matter, as a very complicated issue, might be such a simple issue to her. Like, I just, I needed to find something. Like, I just, and then she put my clothes on the yeah, floor. All right. It's very simple. Too. Let's head over to the news. Ibrahim is on standby. All right, good morning, and thanks for joining us on the news. After weeks of requests by the opposition People's Democratic Party, the president of the Court of Appeal, Justice Zainab Bokachua, has recused herself from the presidential election petitions tribunal. 
The PDP had always wanted her out because the, she is married to a senator-elect of the All Progressives Congress. And even though all the judges on the panel held that the party's allegation was insufficient, she has chosen to step down. The PDP and its presidential candidates in these years uh, in these years are before the tribunal to challenge the outcome of the vote, which returned President Muhammadu Buhari. And the Federal Executive Council met on Wednesday for the last time before the end of President Buhari's first term. At the meeting, the president directed all ministers to hand over their portfolios by Tuesday, a day to his inauguration for a second term. All the 31 ministers in attendance took turns to appreciate the president and his vice president, Yemio Shimbadu, for their exemplary leadership qualities. After listening to the encomiums showered on him, the president also directed all the ministers to hand over their portfolios on the 28th of May 2019 to the office of the secretary to the government of the federation, Boss Mustafa. And also the federal government has ordered the immediate clearing up of the Apapa gridlock and the restoration of law and order to Apapa and its environs within two weeks. The presidential directive mandates the immediate removal of all trucks from, the, from all uh, the bridges and roads within Apapa and all adjoining streets leading to, into the Apapa axis. Operators of trucks and tankers have also been directed to vacate the port access roads within the next 72 hours. Uh, this directive follows an emergency meeting convened by President Muhammad Buhari and chaired by Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju on the 25th of April. The meeting proffered lasting solutions to the gridlock around the Lagos port as the traffic congestion has continued to restrict all operations and livelihood in the area. Staff of the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority at the Kaduna International Airport have downed tools indefinitely. They joined their colleagues at the other airports in pressing for improved attention from their management. Among other things, they are accusing the agency's leadership of withholding the promotion of staff since 2017, as well as delaying selecting and sometimes withholding trainings. And also Nigeria, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi appears to be headed for another five-year term that is according to preliminary results as ballot counting continues. Mr. Modi's uh, Bharatiya Janata Party, the BJP, seen to, uh, to be leading the opposition Congress party by a factor of three to four or four to one. According to the major exit polls released on Sunday, Mr. Modi's brand of Hindu nationalist politics coupled with his efforts to project a strong image of India abroad played well along among the country's 900 million registered voters. If the actual results back the polls up, then it will be a more dominating performance than many analysts had thought possible a few months ago when Mr. Modi appeared to be struggling on economic issues. And UK Prime Minister Theresa May is facing a growing cause for resi to resign amid a backlash against her Brexit plan from Conservative MPs. While some cabinet ministers say she cannot stay, others insist uh, she should push on with her plan to put a withdrawal agreement bill to a vote. The 1922 Committee of Conservative Backbenchers uh, met on Wednesday evening but decided not to change rules, which would have allowed an immediate vote of no confidence in her. The PM will meet the committee's chairman, Sir Graham Brady, on Friday. And that's it on the news update for this hour. Weather update is next.
Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Now it's about time for us to find out what's making the rounds in the headlines on the newspapers this morning. And I would like to start with the punch. Hope you don't mind. Hmm? You mind? I mind. You mind? Okay, take. Should I start? I'll start with the nation. <laughs> Uh, the nation says Atiku's motion rejected as court president quits panel. Olanikwe hails Bokalchua as decision. Uh, Ex-VP's lawyer says motion not personal. It also says here, why I didn't sack cabinet by Buhari ministers to hand over on May 28th. It also says here, Fayemi is governor's forum chair. Police arrest 25 cult suspects kidnappers on page five uh, there's more information on that then uh, Ogun residents protest uh, still protesting uh, since yesterday I believe uh, page 10 has more information on that one presidency to restore traffic sanity to a papa in 14 days 14 days wow that's a big task more grease to their elbows says here showing car cautions government on Obasanjo's comments Mobile giant MTN hits 1.12 trillion naira gain. Ex-Air Chief Amosun in plea bargain talks. And finally, oil prices drop 3% to $70. That's what we have on the cover of the nation. And then I would move on straight to uh, the Vanguard. And we have here, that's the picture of the Oshodia Papa Expressway gridlock that you can see right uh, here. Okay, that's it there. And it says, uh, yeah, this was yesterday. And Buhari orders trucks and tankers to vacate Oshodia Papa Expressway in 72 hours. Issues two week, ult issues two week ultimatum to clear entire Papa access. And uh, the rider underneath that one says, a task force compounds gridlock. That is from an investigation. And uh, over here, we can see Zainab, a federal government indicts two foreign airlines for running drug cartel at Nigerian airports. And um, page 40, Luth doctors begin warning strike over shortage of personnel. And Masob's 19th anniversary turns bloody. Two killed, 15 injured, 10 arrested. Uh, top left corner here, uh, we can see um, Ulu fashion. That's a, that looks like a, a commentary. State of the nation, if most Nigerians can't afford basic necessities, how can they acquire capital assets to escape poverty? And uh, we have here, why not making of a civil and political activist? All of this, uh, you'd have to check out the vanguard for this and much more. And uh, I have the punch on, in my hands now, finally. Uh, it says PDP reacts as Bokachua quits presidential poll tribunal. It also says, why I, didn't, I did not dissolve my cabinet, President Buhari says here. Page 8 has more information. On kidnapping, FRSC officers, others, regain freedom in Oshun, Ondo, Ikiti. For two former NBA Ikeja chairman, treasurer arraigned for 20 million naira fraud. A certificate plagiarism scandal rocks Namdi Azikiwe Varsity. It also says uh, Adeleke sues IG, AIG over arrest. Vacate Apapa roads, bridges in 72 hours, federal government tells tanker drivers. Fire me emerges chairman, Nigeria Governors Forum. And finally, Nigeria must prepare for the next global economic crisis, says Emefiele. That's what we have on the cover of the punch. And straight up to the Guardian, uh, we can see here, this is a picture here. Resident doctors protest against insecurity and alleged harsh treatment from management of Lagos State University Teaching Hospital Luth yesterday. And yep, you can see there with the placards all over. Okay, and many people don't believe Buhari cracks jokes and laughs. He does, we know. He said the IGP had lost weight and he laughed. So we, we don't believe we know. <laughs> and uh, the annotations underneath that headline say ministers pay tributes at last cabinet meeting. And president explains retention of aids till May 28 and praises Ocholi and others. And uh, we still see here showing car backs or passenger on fulanization of Nigeria claim. And site engineer and others trapped under collapse four-story building in Onisha. 
and revealed how IWF's $135,000 was spent and discriminatory admission criteria, poor performance hunt unity schools. All of this on the page of uh, The Guardian. This day newspaper has this headline, citing personal reasons, Bokachua withdraws from Atiku's petition. Uh, there's a picture here, very interesting snapshot of the former Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, and DJ Kapi, who was in the studio here a few weeks ago at uh, the Global Citizen Berlin Festival. Now that's a picture you probably want to frame and keep in your house mm. if you had that opportunity. Nice snapshot there. Uh, Buhari says, why I kept my cabinet intact, retains ministers till last day in office. Showing car backs or passengers call for end to insecurity. More information on page eight. Main one, earmarks 25 billionaire for digital Lagos connectivity project. Hmm, that should be an interesting topic for tech. Uh, presidency orders a papa port's decongestion in two weeks. And finally, CBN's moves to cap Treasury bills investments on settled banks. MFLA seeks stronger fiscal buffers. That's what we have on the cover of this day newspaper. Uh, I guess uh, we don't have any time left. We'll take uh, Daily Sun later on. But then let's take a break now and we'll be back with the traffic situation in Lagos. Hello, it's that time of the show, of course, of the morning where we update you on traffic situation in different areas of Lagos State. All right, so please note that you could always be a part of this segment. We would like you to please join us by sending a message on our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and even Twitter. Let us know what the traffic situation where you are is like, and perhaps take a traffic selfie. We would love that. And you could also do a video if you like. Anyway, so this morning, um, yeah, I've got my Ikorodu peeps. <laughs> so I'm going to be updating them on the traffic situation from mile 12. Okay, so the traffic um, situation at the moment from mile 12 um, is pretty um, dense at the moment. And then if you're like on your way out of um, Ikorodu towards mile 12 to um, the island, yeah. So this is for you this morning. Um, traffic situation from out 12 to K2 is pretty dense at the moment. But after K2 approaching Ojota, it's quite free. And um, K Ojota all the way to Maryland is free at the moment. So it's quite free all the way to Antony. Uh, so if you are on the Ikorodu Road this morning, you have no problem because there's no traffic at this point. But in some parts of Obanikoro, there is traffic at the moment. That's if you are going towards Ojota, there is traffic at the moment. But if you are going to the island, there's actually no traffic on that end at this time right now. You're approaching Palm Grove all the way. Ooh, there's a traffic situation from Fadei to Obanikoro. I'm wondering why, what's causing that this morning. But, uh, well now that you know maybe the alternative routes you could take you know at this point but all the way to Fadeyi um, there's no traffic but there's a bit of traffic situation in some areas in uh, inside of um, Fadeyi at the moment all right so um yeah, so far, traffic situation on Ikorodu Road is pretty light at this point. And I'm guessing it's because a lot of businesses have not opened yet. So there's a bit, not, not so much of a rush. Well, we'll see <laughs> what happens in the next two hours. So guys, any updates on Twitter? Uh, wow, okay, thanks, MM. Um, I just have one that seems to have come from about 30 minutes ago. There was a little accident. Well, there's no little accident. There was a, a lone accident. Uh, ascending Ikoi from Third Mainland Bridge. Oh. Uh, it's a red vehicle there, um, and it seems like um, it's causing a bit of a gridlock around there. Mm. About um, 30 minutes before then, 
It says uh, Ilezik Inward Ajayi Farm on Route Ikeja, still good to go. That was at about 5.45. So uh, I think uh, that's the l earliest I can find for now, or rather the latest I can find for now. All right, mm -hmm. any updates right. on so, uh, and bridges? This, what I have here is a litany. It's quite a very long one. Uh, this was just over 30 uh, minutes ago, but it's quite long. So let's go. There's good vehicular movement from Iano Dokbaimu towards Ilizik, and uh, though traffic is now heavy at Cement and Manguru bus stops due to commercial and residential concerns, but then there is uh, no sighted impediment. And then Ashade and Sule Junction arriving at Ilizik is good to drive through. And uh, movement from Ilezik to Ajayi Farm is encouraging at the moment, but it is only when approaching Ikeja along under the pedestrian bridge that is slow due to the high volume of uh, vehicles arriving at the place bottleneck. That's uh, the concern there. Traffic from Ikeja along to National is busy, but last mile of officers are presently on ground. Uh, controlling traffic and uh, check mating the activities of airport taxis and some uh, recalcitrant commercial bus drivers hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, you. who are trying to pick and drop passengers along the way along that's on the highway the rest of the journey from national now of course this is um towards Oshodi. The rest of the journey from national through pwd shogunle and ladikwa up until Bolade Oshodi is good to go. The return journey is good and fast from Bolade through Ladipo, uh, Shogunle and Ikeja along inward Ilezik. Uh, there is a little alternation at Ilezik, but immediately mm. after movement is better through Manguru and cement bus stops to Iyano Dokbaimu and from Ilezik through Sule Junction inward Ashade and Agege. Proper. All right, thank that's you. It. Very that's much. I'm done. I'm not finished. Wait, no. no allow, right. allow the traffic. <laughs> the weather <laughs> is getting. I'm about to give you traffic. The weather, I'm weather. You added weather. No, no, hold on. Let me finish it. Mike, I'm about weather. to update you on the let traffic situation it, nah. where you live. You ask. Let me finish wow. it. The weather is getting clearer by the minute, and tra and officers are getting ready to begin effective traffic control. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much, Mike. You're thank done. You, Mike. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay. I was actually about to update you on the traffic situation where you live. So um, apparently the Lekki Peninsula route right now this morning is quite um, tight this morning. Yes, Mike, you know, who comes from the island, you know, the VGC routes is pretty tight this morning. Did you experience any, but any bits of traffic, Mike? Mike? Uh, anyway, what, what, which which, uh, which peninsula now? Mike took Lekki his chopper this morning. Lekki on Peninsula? No, not which the one, which inner one? Lekki. Okay, no, so if you're approaching from uh, Badri Aja, it's quite tight at the moment. Yeah. Uh, probably um, you'd have to... You know, people are talking about hailing Okadas these days because wow. Gokada and, you know, the few Okada <laughs> services because of a uh, bottleneck around that area. But, hey, come on. Uh, it, it'll get better. My right, so the Ajar is actually inward of Lekki. If you approach, if you're coming from Ad, um, Ajar to Lekki, it's quite free. But the Lekki Chevy Peninsula route is actually tight at the moment. And then it's free um, if you're approaching Lekki phase one. And in uh, of Admiralty Way is actually free at That's, the moment. If you come up so from my street. Want, so if you're looking for alternative routes, the Lekki Ikoyi Bridge is a great alternative route, you know, which you could use this morning. It's quite free this morning at the moment. All right, so that's it on traffic updates. I hope we've been able to update you as much as we can. Mm. Now it's time to join the gang in the kitchen. Hello, guys. <laughs> mm. Thank you, MM. So Mike has something in his hand, and I'm wondering why he hasn't offered me any. Uh, are those dates? Seeing, are those uh, dates, you're Mike? You're seeing what you see, things that are Bring not this real. thing you are eating uh, early in the morning. Like the things that are real. This okay, so <laughs> yeah, Tonto DK is trending. Okay, why? Like Tonto DK is trending. Why? You know, why is she trending? We do I want to talk about Tonto Who's DK? Who's trending? Tonto DK. What's she trending for? <laughs> wow. No, I think Tonto DK is just, I think she just loves to, she's become an entertainer. We no longer know her as a Nollywood actress. She's actually, become an entertainer because her life has become on. our, you know, our mm. entertainment. Well, so, so, you know, there's this whole <laughs> reality TV thing that's such a trend, mm. you know, and the things that are going on with people's real lives are very entertaining. Look at people like Tiana, you know, Tiana's empire oh, okay. and her son and the way she's packaged her own kind of reality TV show. I'm just thinking, you know, uh, Nigerian. Well, Nigerian make does a reality show show sell out. It, it, will sell. it will sell. You know, Actually, it's just it that it's very now. expensive. We don't that sold out, no. It's just that it's very expensive uh -huh. to start on YouTube. Things. Not YouTube. With um, a particular syndicated network, she does have. Oh, okay. It's been a while. Mm. Of course, that's where she 
um, she divulged or she said that she had she showed that she had gone through some cosmetic yeah, surgery. Cosmetic oh, surgery. Okay. She showed all okay. of that, you know. So she showed she she was even like we showed the doctor's diagnosis where she was in front of you know on the table and all of mm, that. Mm. It was it was uncensored. Really. So, so, so she showed everything. My point now is content is king. Showed everything. Mm. Whatever creates eyeballs or views now, no matter what it is, is making money. Well, not everything, basically. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's, the, it's the bad things that make that trend, actually. And it's the, yeah, it's a the, lot of bad it's things the, trend, but yeah. good things do trend uh, as well. No. When do. was the last time a good thing trended? Good things trend as well. No. Look at when we have... Everybody so likes to feast on, everybody yeah, wants so to feast on, yeah. you know, that negative thing that's happening in your life. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if there's a grass to yeah. grace story, it does actually trend. Look at the, the young boy who became a chess champion. That trended for quite a while. It did? It did. Mm. It really did. People, you know, he, he was trending for a good reason. He eventually got an apartment for his family. Someone who was from an IDP camp, you know. So it's, you have to think about the fact that you can create positive content as well. You yeah. just have to find it. That's a lot of people sure. have just resorted to, oh, let me find some negative story and put it out there. Well, the issue about her now is that she put up a contract and said she had she's receiving a hundred million naira okay. for being an ambassador to a cosmetic line. A hundred oh. million. Hundred million. Oh. Uh, you know, so I don't. Is know that an international she cosmetic the, she line? Yeah, she she mentioned the, line. the name of the okay, brand. Okay, so that's is them. it. An international so cosmetic line. The name, the way that name sounds, that name. Does <laughs> Wow. You know, some right. names that you just know. I don't. It doesn't look million. Yeah, million so there's a lot of money. Yeah, but, but from a local, from a cosmetic line here in Nigeria. You see, what you say is probably. I don't know, but that's what she said, right? So mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. cosmetic lines are really, uh, it's it's their season. Oh, no, it's it's gradually it's getting bigger even in the country here. Yeah, the cosmetic industry People is are doing, growing. Yes. Yeah. So it was. I think it was Cardi B that had to can cancel some concerts because she had to recover from um, a boob job. Mm. You know, she had to recover, and then she said she had done lipo, mm. and this was the first time she was ever really going to do lipo. That's she after, had her, after, after her, after her baby, and then yeah. so she she did she did, she did some extra, and then she said she had to take uh, some time off. And then Black China also on Wendy Williams show mm. for the first time she openly admitted that man she does this cons even her dimple even as far as her dimples. Mm. Okay, so you know? so nowadays it's not something to be ashamed of going for you know uh, procedures, medical procedures for beauty enhancement yeah because i mean i i also hear people have this argument about um is skin enhancement uh uh is it wrong mm. is it the bleaching huh? a, well it's called skin <laughs> enhancement <right? laughs> so you're enhancing no, your skin I, see i don't remember what we did I, why i mentioned black china was that you see so a number of these people come up on social media mm. and say they'll be they'll, you're not see them with small dumbbell <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and then, then they not say body goals. Yeah. And, and, so see, it's not a problem to go and use knife and cut your body. It's not. It's wow, nothing wow. wrong. It's almost like you're taking, um, you're cutting your nails. You are doing, you're taking. But don't come and deceive other people that you are is natural and you didn't work out. Let me not say so something. No, it also happens. It also happens. It also puts, don't, and don't, it's unfortunate it's because it also puts a lot of pressure on, 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 on new mothers, especially new mothers. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, you just had, you've been, you've, you, let's say, for yeah. we both had our babies together. Mm -hmm. And I went, I did yeah. some cosmetic work on myself. Let's say I had to burn some, and back. I'm, you know, and I'm bad, and I'm in the gym, yeah. I'm working out. Uh, and you're, you're looking at me like, my God, how, ah, I mean, I, what I do, and I'm like, it's exercise, oh. Uh, wow. I'm keeping fit. Don't be eating healthy. Everything you see. Dieting. We gotta go. And then pressure is killing we you. We gotta go. We gotta Just go. don't believe everything we gotta you go. see on TV <laughs> or on social media. We have a, a musical, musical performance cosmetic. coming right up. Mm. Welcome back. Now it's about time for some music. Kolade Odikwe, popularly known as Fere Jesu, is a fast-growing saxophonist and musicologist. He is an alumni of Peter King College of Music, Badagri, and he's ministered alongside great ministers such as Tokwe Alabi, Anyo Jesu, Bukola Bekes, and so many other great names. And he's here with an amazing suit, prepared to take us by storm. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, so what's her name? What's her name? Wow. <laughs> just my fair. Your fair? Yeah, my Just fair. your fair. Yeah, okay. my saxophone. All right, what's the name of the piece you're going to perform today? Okay, well, I would just like to do Erase Me Help. 
by you West Life. Yeah. Okay, beautiful, amazing. Sir, I can see you massaging that guitar very well. <laughs> are, you, are you set? Are you set? Sure, sure. All right, I like the smile on your face. I believe you're set to uh, you know, perform for us. Let me get out of your hair. Okay. All right, okay. it's gonna be amazing. Stay close. <laughs> So I can. Are you really? Are you trying to sing? Stand the mountain. Are you it's wonderful, wonderful, great, to greatly sing? inspirational song. <laughs> I'm not trying to sing. I'm singing. In my mind. In my mind. Ah, that shower voice. That voice that when you're alone. Thank All you right. so much for AJ Sue wonderful. for that wonderful, wonderful performance. Wonderful performance. I mean, like playing the saxophone is should will not be easy. Why is this year just going down easy? <laughs> it's turning on your own. <laughs> you let it go down to where it wants to go down. To. All right.
Now, if TV was like the Champions League, Wake Up Nigeria would be like a combination of Baka, AC Milan. No, not Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea, wow. but they know how to carry it. Wow. Manchester City Mike. and Liverpool. <laughs> All of them together, there may be small of Chelsea under. Uh, that is what will, your numero uno breakfast show would be. Wake up, Nigeria. And the first one hour just went by. It's nothing short of excellence. We're just getting started. Please ignore me, Chelsea fans. Please do. We have another hour, 45 minutes to go. My name is Titi Lyo Oyinsan. And I am mm, Mike Mexicano, like I said. Liverpool, Man City. Wow. We're streaming live at tvcontinental.tv and also on Facebook at TVC Connect. You can send in your comments across social media platforms with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Now, you need to know something. There's one app like that. Yep. It belongs to us and you need it. Download it right now. All the Android stores, iOS stores will allow you to download it and just watch us anywhere in the world. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, TVC, that's just the app. TVC, just look for TVC on, um, like you said, your Apple uh, iOS store. And then, of course, your Google Play store. Any of those stores, you'd get that app. Okay? So, MM is in the kitchen. Um, uh, MM. <laughs> Mike. MM Oba. Mike. Mike. Oh, wait, well, Mike. Um, Ayola is not yet here, yes. but uh, Chef AY. she's on her way. She'll, she's on her way. She'll be here in a bit. Yes. Okay, MM, are yes. you, so are you going to, before she comes, are you doing anything? Like, no, I'm you? not, because she's actually making something quite interesting this morning. Ah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's Indian inspired. Ooh. Yeah, it's, so it, I'm, it's Asian inspired, actually. So I'm really looking forward to that. I remember the time when you did some makara for us? You remember that time? Akara. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you yeah, want to go there? Okay. And then made there? some nice, very local looking akara that well, day. I'm looking forward to what they have in store for us this morning <laughs> in the kitchen. But then let's get straight to what we have today on art display. We have Sam of Righty. He will be showing us the beautiful world of contemporary art in media, painting, drawing, mixed media, and sculpting. Mm, interesting, interesting. The world runs on technology these days now. And who else can explain it better? Mike is going to be on that matter. And he's going to be telling us what's new in the world of tech. And then, of course, Atemi Tokwe Omoto Show, the author of the book Once Upon the First Love, will be joining us for a book chat. Mm, yes, indeed. Looks like such a great book, though, right? Mm. Uh, and uh, well, we'll have another musical performance, the MP3 Musical Band. They'll be here soon. <laughs> It's a lot of work to edit all those pieces. Yes, it yes. So much work. Yes, it As, is. But what I want to talk about was the destiny they just reformatted. <laughs> well, that's like, <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's your number a is now of, available. Yeah, Man. a lot ring, of destinies were reformatted ring, ring, growing up. Like, ring, but did you ever receive those kind of slaps when you were a child? The type uh, that are you joking? You, you see stars, like actually literally see stars. Are you joking? You know that thing? Hey. In cartoons, you see <laughs> the stars. Uh, no, no, no. Cartoons take it too far. But real star is just she like. Said, she said, did she mention cartoons? Cartoons. You cartoons. Know, in cartoons, you see that the stars no, going no, around. No. Oh. Oh. In that, that cartoon owner eh, makes it seem like a merry go round. <laughs> the real stars, it's like, you know, when you are when fluorescent bulb, when it's just doing ching, 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 ching. <laughs> And then when you know that, you know that they, those days when we used to use starter, let's call it starter. Starter. Uh, uh, that. That's how I think we're doing you. So you're like, ching, 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 ching. So why is it people say, who off light? That's how it seems to be. So it's like light just came. It just, like, Nepa just came and just went out. That's how those kind of slaps used to be. So it's only one I've received like that. So when you receive it, you see like was two it, times. Was it a parent? Was it a Ah, my dad now. You're a parent. Of course, my dad. Ah. When he just enters like this, hey, ah. You know one thing that you. I just saw like this. Just, just two times. You know, she, she. My, my siblings and I still joke about it. Yeah, because there was this particular day my dad told me not to go to a certain family friend's house, and I did. Mm. And um, so he came back, and then I think someone shouted at me, "Bo," that I went to the family friend's place. Before my dad could turn like this, ta ta me. Eh? You have pickers. I have ja. I do <laughs> not pickers. I ja. <laughs> okay. What ja ja? <laughs> That because one. we're playing in our family, so before, so it was quite. I grew up in quite a little bit of extended, so I had maybe a few uncles and aunties and cousins around. Before you even go far, hold him there, hold him there. She be doing it. There's one day, one of my uncle would get a set leg for me. <laughs> 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 you know, Baba, you put leg. Where do you go? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, when they catch like that, they will drag you But back. you know kids these days, they're uh, so lucky. I mean, parents these days are do. so sophisticated. They don't want to touch their kids. They don't want, they do, you know, practicing the think, Western you know, so culture. I used to think my mom was like very sophisticated Parenting. in her, in her, you know. So her own was her boomerang slippers. So she had these bathroom slippers that I don't know how. You run and you go around the corner, but the slippers will still touch you. How? It's not ah, straight lines. Like the other day, I mentioned, I mentioned that um, um, Elsie did something. Like, I told her not to do something. And then I took her and then I spanked her like this. I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, all right. All right. Okay, yeah. great. All right. But now we see why if MM doesn't go to UK, it's because of this kind of thing. <laughs> That's it. Welcome back. Now, I'm in the garden in the beautiful morning sun. And what other beautiful things do I have here? Some amazing pieces of art. And we have Mr. Sam of Variety here with us, who is the creator of this art, right? Yeah. And uh, I, I don't want to say the artist. You know, everybody just says the artist. Yeah. But you, you've put some emotion and feeling into these pieces. I'd like to give you a warm welcome. Welcome to the show, Sam. Uh, thank you so much. All right. So I. I I, the first question is always the same for me. What inspires your work? Where do you get those ideas from? Do they just come out of the air or do you go searching from them? Uh, well, you don't have to search because inspiration simply means in spirit. Mm. You know, some of these things that we see are effects. All artworks are effects of mm. your imagination, mm. imagination. Just like God said, let us make man in our own imagination. Mm. So the artist creates from his imagination, mm. from the spirit to form. So the inner formation of the artist determines what comes out. Not necessarily information, the inner formation mm. of the artist <laughs> is what will bring out what will eventually be the form, which is the artwork that we see. Okay, so does this inspiration also uh, lead to what you use to create the art? So I know you're into different types of art. You just have a few pieces here. Yeah, yeah. So pastel, um, oil painting, etc. Yeah, watercolors. Et yes, watercolors. Yeah. I, I will tell you that uh, when we are on this earth, we are trained, we are indoctrinated, we are, we are taught things by the people that we meet, mm. by education, by association, um, by the courses that you read and... Mm. Um, the information that they already have. Mm. But as you begin to be yourself, you begin to decide what you want. So for art, there are many uh, mediums, that is many materials, but they are necessarily not different. In the sense that if you are a painter, mm. color is the primary intent. Okay. Your ability to put color together, together. to compose. Mm. But inside that, color can come in different forms. It can come in watercolor, it can come in oils on canvas, it so, can come in pastel. So for instance, what, what is this? This is oil paint? Th that is acrylic on acrylic. canvas, okay, yes. On canvas. Acrylic on canvas. So you're saying that acrylic, uh, the, the color red, yes. as we know it as a color red, will come out a certain way in acrylic paint. Yeah. But if I wanted to achieve the color red in a different way, I could use something It will else. still be the color red. Mm. Because color remains color, okay. but the form of the color, that is the binder, is different. Okay. For oil color, it's the same pigment. Okay. But, well, you use linseed oil to bind it. Mm. For watercolor, it's the same pigment, but you use gum arabic to bind it. Okay. Pastel is the same pigment, mm. but it is glued together like chalk. Chalk, for exactly. acrylic, it's the same pigment, but you use the acrylic medium to bind it. So for Beautiful. acrylic, it dries very fast. Mm. For oil, it dries slowly because it is mixed with oil medium. Mm. For watercolor, mm. it is it's something that you can use water, enough, use enough of water. Then for pastel, because it is chalk, mm. you know, it is binded like chalk. I can see what uh, appears to be a woman and a baby. Yeah, a mother and child. A mother and child yeah. here. Uh, I, I guess you must have seen or felt uh, you know you know pulled to put this on canvas yeah was it just specifically because you saw a mother and child or it's something you had always wanted to do yeah um i can tell you that uh, as an artist what i try to do is to look at the good side of life mm -hmm. you know some artists like to paint dead people and war and things like that thinking that we make them more relevant mm -hmm. but you see showing people negative things cannot make them positive 
I hate to be fat, cannot make you slim. Mm. I hate to be poor, mm. cannot make you rich. Mm. So what I do is to look at just the positive aspect so of for life. For instance, this, this particular one, what, what was the mindset behind this yeah, large one? Uh, I'm a talker. I talk every weekend. <laughs> I do a lot of MC and things like that. And I meet women mm. in different colors. <laughs> and especially at this age where color has no boundaries anymore. We can see our presenter putting on violet <laughs> eyeshadow and things like that. Women now are able to put green, green all over their body. It yeah. doesn't really mean anything anymore. It's, in fact, it's the norm. Mm. So when I go out, I get inspired by the different colors that women display these days. Mm. You know, and I like them. I like to show the goodness mm. of things. Mm. So this one is women of honor, mm. inspiration from what I see mm. when celebration is taking place beautiful yeah this seems to be a, a little girl right and yeah. uh, she seems to be either grinding something yeah what is she doing it's there? actually a full honey milk seller oh yeah okay yes okay. No. but the style you used here yeah for creating this piece it feels like um you use some kind of instrument to scrape oh that's a mixed media piece it's okay. actually done with something simple around me okay uh Cartons. Oh, wow. You can see the field, cartons, mm -hmm. tissue papers. It's fine, sir. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And um, just carton, tissue paper, and acrylic and brush. Tissue paper? Yes. What aspect has tissue paper on it? Uh, it's all over the place. Oh, wow. You know, after sticking the carton, mm. you now uh, use the tissue paper on top of it. It binds everything together. You know, art mm. is no longer mm -hmm. created by the traditional medium. Mm that we know those of us who went to school who think that you, are, you have to be a great artist by using oil color okay. and watercolor. These days we use what is around us because the art The painting that was trying anywhere. to get away from us yeah. just now. Let's talk a bit about this. Yeah, it this very emotional, I have yeah, to say. I can't, I, 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 I'm, I'm really happy that you can feel the emotion. Mm. There's a woman and a man there. Mm. And uh, if you look at the man's hand, there's money. Mm. There's some currency in the man's hand mm. somewhere around here. Mm. My wife titled this one, Women and Money. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so they can really get close to you when you are able to take care of them. I'm interested in your choice of colors here. Yep. Purple for the hair, yep. red for the man's lips, purple yep. for his skin. Yep. Why, why specifically those colors? Yes, I, I'll tell you that um, we no longer follow certain ways that we've been taught. You don't have to conform to the world. Mm. You have to be transformed by the renewal of a mind. In this era, mm. the mindset of people is be colorful. Mm. Just and be colorful. colorful. And if <laughs> the canvas does not speak, and you are an artist and you need to create, mm. then you must be able to use colors arbitrarily, <laughs> provided you balance them on the canvas. They're very beautiful pieces. Thank I have you so to say much. A big thank you to you, thank Mr. You so much. Sam of thank, Variety, thank you so for coming much. to show us your pieces. I'm so interested in seeing so much more on social media. Tell us what you feel about this. Use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria, and reach out to us. But the show continues. It is Wake Up Nigeria. All right, wonderful art display there. Let's take a look at some tech updates. I have quite very interesting stuff this morning and uh hmm now have you ever thought about designing on your android phone i mean i'm talking about premiere pro adobe premiere pro well adobe just launched premiere rush its newest all-in-one video editing tool that is essentially pared down version of its flagship premiere pro and audition tools for professional video editors in late 2018. now at the time it was only available on ios mac os and windows now however it is also finally bringing it to android now there's a caveat though it will only run on relatively new phones, including the Samsung Galaxy S9, S10 series, Google Pixel 2, and 3 phones, and OnePlus 60. What it means is that you can professionally edit videos on your Android phone. Now, isn't that very interesting? I know some editors and all of that are smiling. Well, that's a good one. And moving on from that, Indonesia just banned Instagram. Now, Indonesia is the latest nation to hit the hammer on social media after the government restricted the use of WhatsApp and Instagram following deadly riots. Now, numerous Indonesia-based users are today reporting difficulties 
sending multimedia messages via, via WhatsApp, uh, which of course is one of the country's most popular chat apps, and posting content to Facebook, while the hashtag Instagram down is trending among the country's Twitter users due to problems accessing Facebook-owned photo app. Now, Weranto, a coordinating minister for political, legal, and security affairs, confirmed in a press conference that the government is limiting access to social media and deactivating certain features to maintain calm according to a report from Coconuts. And moving on from that, Ford is set to create autonomous vehicles to make deliveries. Now, autonomous vehicles might someday be able to navigate bustling city streets to deliver groceries, pizzas, and other package, packages without a human behind the wheel. Now, but that doesn't solve what Ford Motor CTO Ken Washington describes as a last 50-foot problem. Ford and Startup Agility Robotics are partnering in a research project that will test how two-legged robots and self-driving vehicles can work together to solve that curb-to-door problem. Agility's Digit, a two-legged robot that has a leader where its head should be, will be used in the project. A robot which is capable of lifting 40 pounds can ride along in a self-driving vehicle and be deployed when needed to deliver packages. Uh, I'm looking forward to when we can have something like that in Nigeria. Okay, moving on from that, Apple has just announced a new Mac with upgrades. Now, they are updating a, their 15-inch MacBook Pro with 8-core and 6-core processors, and it's 13-inch MacBook Pro with touch bar with 8-generation quad-core processors. Now, Apple says that these boosts mean that the 15-inch MacBook Pro will run at double the speed of the previous quad-core models and hit a 40% improvement over the 6-core MacBook Pro model. Now, Apple says this is its fastest MacBook ever, and yeah, there is a keyboard update. Now, quite a very big one. I don't have to go into all details for that, but the speed bump is that the $2,399 configuration of the 15-inch MacBook Pro is getting a 2.6 gigahertz, six-core i7 that boosts up to 4.5 gigahertz and a 400 megahertz increase in turbo speed. Now, that is quite a lot. Now, the top-end config at two. $1,799 is now standard with an 8-core i9, two more cores, and a 500 megahertz increase over the current 6-core config. We are not so much into the details of specs of laptops and all that. You might not understand this one, but yeah, it's going to be extremely faster. It's going to be able to deliver more in a shorter time. That's all on Tech Updates this morning. We'll take a break, of course. Uh, there's still a lot more to come on the show. Welcome back. It's Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, here with me in the kitchen this morning is Chef Ayola of AY Sobs. And guys, guess what she's making? We're making what? Pad Thai. Pad Thai. I feel Pad like you keep asking me that because you keep forgetting what it is. Sorry? I feel like you make me say it because you've forgotten what it is. No, no, no. Of course. It's so easy now. It's not <laughs> as complicated as those dishes that you make <laughs> so Yeah, guys. So she's taking us to Thailand this morning. Yes, yes, this yes. This is a Thai dish yes it is right yes, and is. um a lot of vegetables are going into this sumptuous meal i yes. haven't it's not ready yet but i assume that it's really it will be it will be delicious. delicious yeah so let's talk about the ingredients um where did we i'm trying to remember where we stopped and what they know so far no let's just you know run through, run it, through because, it again you know okay. we get people joining us every minute right every second true, so true. you know okay so like on this board here i've essentially just mixed up all my vegetables yeah i've chopped up my um mushrooms, mushrooms into thin slices not too small because mm. they disappear really easily in the yeah. pan um i chopped up my broccoli and my um cauliflower, cauliflower yeah. in the in the title of my meal i call it a wise nanch thai pad thai with country vegetables so I try to like infuse, infuse a little bit of Nigerian. Nigerian. Okay, and so what's the Nigerian infusion here? Maggi or stock, no, stock, sea stock, stock, cubes. stock cubes. Stock yes, cubes. Yes, that's it, stock cubes, yes. Mm, stock Some cubes. sort of stock cubes, would, like. As, stock, as, cubes, as, cubes, stock, stock cubes, stock cubes. Stock cubes, stock yeah. cubes, yeah. Or seasoning cubes or, or anything. Cubes, yeah. yeah, that's the only thing I'm going to infuse that I think has a touch of Africa. Nice yes. Oh, uh, also this actually, the. Chili pepper. Cayenne? Chili pepper. Why, why, why chili? Because it's red. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference though? We should look, we should look at it after. Okay, great. cayenne and chili. Mm. Yes. So um, also here is what has come tamarind, out of my tamarind. Right? Yeah. Um, I was just going to show a little bit of 
what a tamarind looks like, but mm. maybe I'll show you when we come back next time. Okay. Um, and what I've done well, is... Let's show it now okay. so that people know what it looks like because it's very essential for this meal that we are making this morning. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and so then you have to soak it like in water for hot it water. to melt. Hot in. water. Hot water. Hot water caramelizes it. Okay. So it comes like a brick. Mm, like, a, like a soap. Like a soap, like, like a, a hair, like doo -doo. soap, yeah. Doo -doo, those yeah. doo soaps, yeah. yeah. Those ones, yeah. And then what you do is, a little bit goes a long way. All I've essentially chopped up is like, literally like, is this, is this like a little. centimeter? I don't, I, I'm not really very good with measurements. Little. Very, very little. Mm. And I've essentially put, put that in here and it's gonna give me a lot of liquid. Okay. So I've tried to break up the particles and what happens is you get stuff like this and you get seeds okay. you strain it and then you reduce it oh you're still going to strain so yes. you're making use of the liquid yes. not the shaft no i don't need okay. the shaft so i just want to get all the juices i can get out oh, of the all these tamarind, things yeah. and then i'll put it on fire and reduce it even more because oh. I, I want something that that's like a bit of a syrupy consistency oh, okay that would end up being my seasoning for okay. the noodles okay great yeah, i'll combine great. that with the fish sauce okay this is like one of the most important Four times ingredients in Thailand. Okay. They do everything fish with fish sauce. sauce. Nice. And All right, so can we start cooking? cooking? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm, should we start I'm excited with? about this meal. Thanks. What should we start yeah. with? What do, you, what do you want to show them? Um, okay. The stir fry. So basically, this is like making a stir fry noodles, guys. It's nothing. Very simple, easy recipe. Nothing complicated. Nothing complicated at all. Yeah, so some of the ingredients that we, might be, we are working with might be a bit expensive, but they're healthy. Yes. <laughs> Yes, they are. We have cauliflower and broccoli that is very high in antioxidants. And please make sure that when you're shopping for your mushrooms, buy them from the grocery store. Yes, Don't manage. please. Don't say, ah, I saw mushrooms in my backyard. Oh, no. God. Please. They can do Don't poisonous do that. mushrooms. Thank like, you very it's, much. It's Get real. the ones from the grocery stores, people. All right. So, so much going on here on the show. And here in the kitchen, I'm getting so excited. Next, we have... Of course, we all know that Children's Day is just around the corner. And Mike has someone or some people who will be, you know, dishing out more on some interesting events that they have for children on that day. Over to you, Mike. Ah, the way you say that next to me, man. Is that, is that snail there? I'm seeing something like, is it snail there? There's no there? snail, Mike. There's no snail? No snail. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You say snail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you know, Children's Day is just around the corner and here to talk about a four-day event uh, that has activities such as drone racing, trampolines, uh, giant snakes and ladders is Lainka, Jaji and Martins Udota. Now, um, uh, great to have you guys here. Now, this event is called Fantabulous Children's Day. Yes. I saw the outline for the event and I'm extremely excited to talk to you guys. You guys have put together something quite interesting. Tell us about the process of putting this together. Why did you decide to have such an event with so many um, state-of-the-art games, I must say? Okay, so let's start with this. So it's not, it was not really about the games and the activities at first. Okay. So what we, we sat down and we're like, okay, we have these parks and as a brand, Park Attack Lagos, we're trying to like incorporate like park culture in Nigerians. Hmm. And we're like, okay, people are going to go to indoor places, indoor movies, indoor game places, and then everybody's sure. in front of one screen or the other. Or the other, that's right. And we're like, hey, let's bring out the kids to the park, put all the exciting stuff there, and let them have like fun, like it's supposed to be like back in the day. Wow. And then we have like really cool stuff coming up, like okay. drone racing, for example. Is the first of its kind. It is, it um, is because yeah. it's not even something you see so much here. I know I've seen some channels where esports and all that drone racing is something quite new, even in Europe. So seeing it here, that is really something. I'm going to teach the kids how to yeah, open yeah, yeah. drones that day. That yes. day, yeah. Are we yes. expecting some drones to crash? Because no, if you're going to yeah. teach them, it's expected. So, <laughs> it's expected. See, these drones are built to crash. To crash, yes. Oh, okay. So okay. You crash, okay, I like you it. Up, you put it back together, yeah. and you're good to go. Oh, yeah. okay. Now that's wonderful. Now um, you have uh, so many other things. You have trampolines. And then one very interesting part I love is that you also have mentoring sessions for these kids. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Um, so basically what we're trying to do is to get the kids, not just to have fun, but to also have educational activities as well. So we're bringing in um, child ro role models like... Um, uh, you see me, is, she's yes. a recycler. Yeah. Uh, we're bringing in uh, Nimi Sokon. Nimi Sokon. So Nimi Sokon is a child sprinter. Yes. She has done like... Um, she won the child sport Dubai in Dubai last year. Yeah. Okay. She had a record of about 12 seconds, 100 meters. So she's really fast. Yeah, so she's, she's the fastest. Yeah, yeah. She's the fastest How old is she? She's, she's 11. Yes. She'll be 12 this year. Yeah. So she's going to be there to talk to the kids. Um, we have Isimi, she's a recycler, kind of a brand ambassador for Loma. 
Mm. Should be the talks with the kids. We have their own identical duo, the okay. child um, models. We have okay. a Lord okay. Main. Yeah. So he'll be there as well. Okay, so I, I, this is quite interesting. So yeah. now you're not just getting um, elderly people to talk to them. You're getting their mates. Yeah. Yeah. Why so? Why, why did you decide to have that? Because I think children, they interact better with their own age group. You okay. know, and they, they're able to assimilate more. They're able to make, you know, Direct have conver connection. conversations mm. with their own pe peer groups. So I think... Mm. That's what we're trying to um, achieve with getting okay. people that are younger. Now, yeah, now wonderful. Now, uh, some other thing which you have planned out is that um, a percentage of the proceeds, a tithe of the proceeds, will go to children of fallen heroes. Yes. Why, why, why so? How did you come about that decision and how are you going to go about it? Um, so we plan to give 10% of okay. ticket sales to um, the Nigerian army. I mean, we just wanted to have a seat, not just to have fun, but to have some sort of CSR, back. yes, give back to the community. And we felt the Nigerian army would be a good fit um, mm. because the, I think sometime last year they had some sort of, there was a news coverage on, um, you know, some of the Nigerian army um, wives not having things. So we just I felt you, like, I, you well, know, recently I was let's at, just I was at, a, at a, an army barracks. A particular one and i really i, I look I, I felt bad like look these people are giving a lot for yes, our country and exactly. it's this is quite timely wonderful gesture by you guys there so you're giving 10 percent to their kids yes. for educational is it, is yes, it direct for yes for education okay um, mostly for education because right. i mean it would be nice to send the, the kids to school okay so now so this event is a four-day event yes let's talk about uh the details for the event how can we access tickets before the event and all of that uh, okay so um the four-day event mm. from Friday that's tomorrow that's up tomorrow. until Monday. Okay. Yes. So your tickets are available online okay. via the links in the social media bio, and they're also available at the venue. Yeah. What's the social media bio, by the way? Okay, Park Attack Lagos. Lagos. So Park Attack yes. Twitter, Lagos. Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, the links are there. You can okay. make a payment yes. online and get your tickets. Yes. Okay. How, much, how, much, how much are your tickets going for? Um, from 1,500 okay. to um, 10K. Okay. Um, so basically, the 1,500 is for access to the event, get access to all the activities, but it doesn't come with a free lunch. And now, it's for a day. Two f yeah, it's for a day. Now, okay. the 25 comes with all the activities and also free lunch as well. Mm. So people can have access to all of this. So they can find more on our social media platforms at Park Okay. Park all right. Yes. So uh, 23rd to 27th yes. uh, venue. Uh, Muriel Kuala Park in okay. VI. In VI. Yes. All right. And then, so is it? Does it cut across the whole day? What time does yes. it begin? It's what starts, time does it end? It starts from 9 a.m. till okay. 9 p.m. All right. Yes. All right. Now, Every at day. the end of this, yes. what are your expectations? What do you expect to have achieved with uh, Fantabulous Children's Day Extravaganza? Um, like he said, the point of putting this together is to bring people to the parks because okay. we have a lot of parks in Lagos and about a lot of people of don't know anything about them. So all we're trying to do is to basically get people to leave their houses or leave the cinema, leave, leave the indoors screens, leave and the go screens. outside and have so a good time. They're like, leave with you, <laughs> they should come and spend their money here. Okay, yeah. but I, I understand that outdoor yeah. feel, that outdoor feel yeah, and the get games. Some fresh air, you know? mm. So are there going to be prizes for those who maybe win the drone racing and all of that? I know children can be yes. quite competitive. Very. So let's <laughs> let's, let's come up with the prizes. Yeah. So maybe the prizes might make some of them want to come out a bit more and leave this, uh, the screens. Yeah, so if, if, if we do that, it's going to defeat the aim because okay. it's just another competition for them. Yeah. Mm. So mm. we want them to come there, experience it, and then leave surprised. Yeah. Okay, so there that are is things, the idea. There are things for them, but we want them to leave surprised yeah. at the end of the day. Exactly. Now, are they going to? Um, what are the plans for? Are they going to be coming with the parents? Do you uh, can parents come and drop their children and go off, or would they have to tend and care for the children? Do you have any plans for security? What are what are your plans on that level and all of that? Yes, we actually have security. Um, we'll be having security for the whole day for the four days. Okay. Um, also last month as well, so that they can help control traffic. traffic. And all that. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we'll be having security and also minders as well. If parents want to leave their kids. Okay, and so they have, they, they have an option of leaving their kids because that's quite important. A lot of parents yeah. might think about it. Okay, maybe I want to go somewhere else. But I like, I like my kids to enjoy this. So we have minders there. Yes. We're very, you're very sure that, okay, if I drop my kid, I'll come back and I'll get to see my <laughs> kid, right? <laughs> yes. No, because it's quite, it's quite a concern. That, yeah. Because that's one reason why I'm, I'm thinking of reasons why people might not I want to come there yeah. and all that. You guys have yeah. plans for all of that. There's yes. security also, yes. right? Can you talk to us about the plans you have there? Or what, plan, what kind of plans? you made for security so basically we'll have um bouncers at the gate two okay. bouncers at the gate to kind all of right. control entry, control yes. entry and all so of that. and also indoors as well we'll okay. have securities at and strategic locations security and well. police as well right. armed police security let me <laughs> tell you wonderful wonderful <laughs> i'm looking forward to this one i i want to i want to drone race uh, you know they say you're a child until maybe you've lost a parent okay, and yes. somebody somebody will say I, they ask my mom how many kids do you have she'll say i'm still her child 
So maybe yeah. I can come that day. Yeah. No, you're very well. Yeah. And it's not you know, just for kids. So yeah. it's yeah, open it's for, to everyone. Yeah. Oh, it's and open to everyone. everyone. Yeah. I like that. And actually, yeah. they've been at um, in the BC Canoe Park for about like yeah. a month now. Oh, okay. yeah. So the whole drone set up. So they, 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 they are actually Volo drones. So they are the ones um, supporting us with this. Yeah. All right. For this activation. Yeah. And we'd like to give a shout out to Lucky One Diesel. They're providing all our diesel. Oh, okay. this, for the four days. Wonderful, so wonderful, you. wonderful. We don't want to hear any. We don't want to do the jumping up the party. You know. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Um, let's uh, wish you guys a wonderful event. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, all right. Thank, thank you so much. You. Yeah. So thank for you. children, that's something you can take them out. Uh, 23rd to 27th at uh, Murio Kunala Park and have fun. Drone racing, snakes and ladders, wonderful games. Uh, they will have fun. That's all we can take now. We'll take a break. When we get back, it's um, the third hour of the show. You don't want to miss what we have. Now, if it puts a smile on your face, we must be doing something right. I don't know. Yeah, we're glad that you stayed right there. And of course, we consciously put you in every process because we know that with your approval, we're headed in the right direction. My name is Mike Messiken. And I'm Titi Lyo Oinson. You can also watch us live. We're live streaming on Facebook Live. And of course, our Facebook page is at TVC Connect. TVcontinental.tv is our website. Please send in those comments. Use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria. The TVC app is also available for download on both Android and iOS stores. The app allows you to watch from anywhere in the world with internet, internet. connection. <laughs> <laughs> you always add All right. that part. <laughs> Moving on straight to what we have for the rest of the show, Temi yeah. Tokwe Omoto Show, the mm -hmm. author of the book, once Upon a First Love will be joining us for a book chat. Very soon. Very sweet book. Been flipping through, I've been flipping through. Uh, we have a musical performance coming up. We have the MP3 band. And then finally joining us with her funny videos is social media sensation Mariam Adedoi, known as Taoma on Instagram. Let's find out what makes her tick. to mention you know i was looking at the book the novel okay i uh, once upon a first love this is where you helped me to bring the book now oh well <laughs> uh, once upon a first love yeah that's that's the name that's the name of the book um so basically I, i've been procrastinating about writing a book for many years hmm. since like 2006 or something okay so i would start write like a chapter and now save it in my laptop what's the book about uh it was supposed to be like just things I went through as a child. Okay. Um, then, you know, coming back to Nigeria, uh, getting into the modeling industry. Mm. Um, then, obviously, wow. all the pressure Nigerian families have against young ladies going into entertainment and stuff like that. Mm. So, More like an autobiography. Yeah, well, kind of. Is it inspirational? Because, like, there has to be, like, a, uh, what's, what, why are you writing a book? Okay, so I just About felt, your life, I mean. I felt like I needed to put on paper my feelings so I would get rid of a lot of negative oh, tension. Oh, okay. So okay. the way they say, write down some of the things that you've you know, been going through. So it was like a journal for myself. Oh, yeah. And okay. that was actually one of the first places I, I wrote about my mom's boomerang slippers. So, uh, yeah. so I wrote about that and it, was, it, it became very comedic. Okay. And mm. that was when I stopped. I was like, so why? I gave it to someone to read and they, they were laughing. I'm like, 
this is not what I want to achieve with this book, so I'm going to You stop. want people to be, you know, drawn into the book mm. emotionally? Yeah, I felt, it felt emotional to me, so why are people laughing at what I wrote? Book reviewer. <laughs> We are asking the questions here. Eh? I think we want to just analyze the book. Okay, so something um, Trump did, um, uh, but I think it was the art of a deal. So he had this diary format. Yeah. Mm. So it was a diary format. So what he just did was that he put together um, his his itinerary, so what he list, does. Like yes. a day to day, day, -to -day. activity. So that, that's a style of, and it was quite very cool. That's mm. a very nice style of writing. If you do continue, you see, books are not something that are very, very. It's not something anybody would just easily want to read, but mm. when it depends on the format. Now people do a lot of pictorials mm. and all of that. So that was how Trump wrote that book, The Art of the Deal, mm. if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, The Art of the Deal. So he goes up and puts all of that, and he has a very, very interesting routine, and that book really yeah, So sold. when you were reading it, were that you inspired sold. to adjust your routine, or were you laughing at it? Okay, for, for Trump, you can, you, who says you can't la laugh and still be inspired? You okay, can well, laugh and still well. be inspired. Okay, so the thing with... Um, I admire people who, I admire writers because they are deep, they are really, really, there's some books that you read and they take you on a journey. Mm. There's a book I'm currently reading. It's, um, so it's more like an, an autobiography, but I can relate with her story, mm -hmm. which is quite inspirational for me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, but there's some books you read, especially those motivational books, yeah. and you're trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Very true. I like the Very way you true. put it. You don't know where very the writer true. was going. You like, don't understand why you even and bought the book like, in the first place. What, what's going on very mm. true. here? I think I think I think there's one. There's when you depends on the kind of book you're reading, but you have to learn to read between the lines. Mm. You have to get into the mind of a writer. That's for advanced book readers. Depends on what you want to get. Because at times, some people have something in their mind and then putting it down. Mm. So some of them don't hire writers mm. to help them put, put their down. thoughts yeah. down. Yeah. That you have the thoughts also mean maybe that I you can get put a it ghost down. Writer. Exactly. Yes, maybe I should do that. You can get somebody. Even by the side of my bed, I've had this marriage book what? like this, and I feel like every time I pick it up to read, it's always vague. I'm like, I'm wow. Not okay. 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 You went there. Marriage. We'll talk later, on. We'll talk later on about I books and first loves, but then let's head over <laughs> to the news. Um, uh, Ibrahim will tell us later on about his yeah. first love. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like I said, love. so I the book is just so I take it and I read. I'm like, okay. So what was the title? Making your marriage better? Or I don't want to put. I don't want to. I don't want to out the measure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mention the. Where is that So there, there was actually a book like that that um, my hobby bought mm. that was supposed to inspire some kind of um, um, renaissance. I, I don't romance. Oh, Roma. oh romance. Romance. It was supposed to inspire romance. For both of you. Eh? And it just made me irritated. <laughs> <laughs> it just made me irritated. And I was like. Why did you buy this book? Why? Mm. Why did you? My and it was so expensive. Reads a lot. Okay. <laughs> oh no, he reads a lot, and I always no. envy, envy him. I always do, actually. Every time he picks up a book to read, I always envy him. So that's so, something I'm really picking yeah, up. You know, and what I'm really you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm very sure that book, if this is you give you, you give to your husband, it makes sense. Welcome back to the studio. It's time for the book chat. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have the author of Once Upon a First Love, a passionate book about impacting the world through timeless wisdom and knowledge found in thought-provoking stories and writing that cuts across every age. Now, Tokwe Omotosho is right here. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. She's holding her book lovingly. <laughs> she's just been she's caressing the book there. Uh, I, I had the opportunity to flip through this novel, uh, and I'm pointing out that it's a novel so that people okay. understand that it's, um, it's actually a story with a beginning, middle, and, and end, okay. right? Yes. So let's, let's start at the beginning. When did you start writing this particular book? Um, I started in January. January 2017. Oh, wow. The exact date. <laughs> January, it was January, 2017. Yeah, yeah okay. 2017. Was it 2018? Yeah. Okay. 2018. It took you about how many? Six months. Six months to put this together? Five, six months, yeah. That's fast, though. Uh -huh. That's fast to put together this. So it feels like you poured out uh, a story that was probably really dear to your heart. Who or what inspired it? Well, um... <laughs> For me to say it was inspiration from God, so of course. it just flowed naturally. Mm. And the characters, the um, plot, everything just came like that. So that was just how it started. 
Okay, so I know that uh, okay, at the back it says beautiful, strong, and confident. Beju Adams yeah. has always been a woman who knows what she wants. That one caught me. <laughs> eh, a woman that knows what she wants. <laughs> First, um, you have your main character, and then she reunites with her teen love. Yes. So this issue of reuniting with a teen love being the main plot of the story, uh, is this something that happened to you? <laughs> no, no. I won't say I reunited with him. Okay, first, but I was crushing on him, and he didn't like me back. Oh <laughs> so, wow! But eventually, things changed, and we we're married. <laughs> so there are a lot of things that make up a great story. Yeah. Um, some certain elements, and I, I caught something here. There was a, a major, I'll call it a scene here, okay. where you know something really tragic happened. I don't want to let too much out of the bag. Um, did you feel it was important for, for people to see this particular reality? And I want you to break it down the best you can. Hmm? Hmm, you, you put me on the spot. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, well, yes, it's, it's something that happens to people, but nobody really talks about it that much. Hmm. But um, I can just say it out. Yes, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. So miscarriages really happen mm. and it's really painful people that have gone through it they can't people just tell them okay it's okay you can have another child move on and everything like that but it's the mental um emotional stress is just too much mm. so i just had to chip that in because this is really what happens in real life mm. okay I, I like the fact that you mentioned real life there because uh, you also talk about a lot of you have a lot of notes to God here. Yeah. So the notes to God, are they notes from Kweju or notes from the author? Notes to God. Mm. Oh. Notes to God. I have on every different characters. Okay. I have a variety of characters, mm. and one that's Eliana. Mm. She she is passionate about God and everything. So she writes. She has a journal and she writes to God. So that's her relationship with mm. God. So uh, the way you picked out those notes, uh, is it because it ties into what's happening in each chapter or yeah. you just wanted to put different notes to God in your book? No, um, okay, so like I said, different characters mm. all point out to the theme of the book, which is love. Mm. And she just has, she's Paige's friend actually. So she just has a way of connecting everything together, mm. connecting the whole story together. So. That's how okay. you are. You're so you're trying to hide. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to tell the story and you don't want to tell it. OK, so let's let's talk about um, getting to this stage, okay. printing your book. Writing a book takes a lot of time and you, you must have had to go and find a quiet place to stay for, you know, a while to get mm. this done. So how are you managing family? You were already married before yes. you put this together. So talk to us about that journey. OK, um, I was at home writing all through and my uh, my husband is a pastor actually so he will helps with my son so it uh, gives me like three hours to write alone in the study mm. and I put my three hours, I make sure my three hours my three hours so that I can go back to being a mom and doing all the things I need to do so it was really helpful mm. and when my son sleeps I just keep writing okay so no rest for me. No rest for you no. at all until you put this out. Yes. And what's the response been like? It's been amazing mm. so far. Um, it was just 2017, August last year that it came out and I've been getting a lot of praises on the book. A lot of people telling me how it's helped them with their relationship with God and everything. So it's really, it shows me that, yeah, mm. the work was really worth it. Abim Bola Dari, the author of Accidental Wife, is also an author that's been on the show before. She uh, wrote a little note there. She says the book has the transformative power of God to restore children of God who have strayed from their first love. It's romantic, sweet, and deals with real life issues that people face. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. to share this with us. Uh, the name of the book, once again, is Once Upon a First Love, a novel by Tokwe Omotosho. An amazing piece. I'm going to finish this book. Don't worry. You don't want to tell us. I'm, I'm not finish this <laughs> All right. Over to the garden. <laughs> oh, no.
wake up and die. Hey. 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 Are we going to this one? Hey. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh, na, na, na. See, Shabby, you want the banga, the banga. Baba. You can never top on Spina. Never top on Vado. I hear Timo, go say it. I'm a Timo, oh, shall I? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, wait for the mula. I say, wait for the baba. All oh, right, oh, yeah, thank you so much. This is the MP3 band, as you already know. At Thursday Staples, we are here to always to make sure that you know your show, your day comes alive. And today, the MP3 band is here to scintillate us with some amazing, good music. And we are just going to, I'm just going to allow them to do their thing at this point here. Yeah? Take it away. Hey, see. I say, come let's calculate Baba. how much you get, how much you pay. Baba. I want to meet for what to lay. Baba. I want to meet for what she did. Now me be intellectual. Now me they give them actual music. I'm my papa lecturer. Baba, Baba lecturer, married nigga. Baba. Oh, yeah, that. Hey. Oh, na, na, na. I say, Baba, Baba. let me see one. Let me see one. Oh, yeah, that. Hey, wake up, ninja. Wake up, ninja. Baba. Let me see what oh, 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 no, no, no. Hey, hey, happy tree. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, see, girl, I want to fuck you like Pokemon. I want to pack you like Pokemon. Hey, oh, Lord, this guy go kill the pussy. I say, forget about Fatima. She want to rub with the Fatima. Hey, wait till the sugar daddy go cause it. I say, oh, body, cha, cha, cha. I say wake up and be free, free. I say party on night night. Oh, body and cha cha Body and cha cha I say wake up and be free, free. I say party on night night. Oh, oh yeah, wake up, wake up, danger. Wake up, wake up, danger. Oh. Hey. I say wake up, wake up, danger. Wake up, wake up, danger. I say wake up, wake up, ninja. Oh. Wake up, wake up, ninja. I say wake up, wake up, ninja. Wake up, wake up, hey, hey, ninja. Hey, hey. Let's go now. Pull it up. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, de de. Hey. Oh yeah, money go say, go say. Hey. I say the shine, you kill it, don't you? Hey. I swear to God, the vibe don't kill it, don't you? Hey. See, pa pa pa, we go the wonder like that. We go the wonder like that. Hey, Are 
church, oh, are you okay? I said, I want to use my money to start out your prayer for you. You permit me. Hey, I love you, young time. I said, I want to use my to shoot your womb, oh, permit me. Hey, banana, I bet you make me up for me. She said, I did. of the social media and social media celebrities. Of course, joining us with her funny and sensational video skits like you just saw mm. on social media is the absolutely talented Miriam Adido, you known as Tauma on Instagram. Well, like, I had to actually, like, rub my ears. That <laughs> diamond, the diamond, uh, like, you know, yeah, it actually have a, like, that slab. How you doing? How you doing, Hi. Tauma? Wonderful, you, you know, your, your videos are, wonderful unique in such a way that you are the one that shoots different parts at times as much as three and maybe even four parts mm. that is quite challenging how did you get inspiration to start shooting in this particular way because it's actually harder than having mm. you know a larger number of cast um let me just say basically it's my mom she she does everything and i just imitate that i just mimic her so i don't even struggle to get stories to shoot okay but why did you decide that you play your mom and play yourself uh, you know that multi part everybody plays it better Mm. Yes. <laughs> mm. So, so, you, so those tried, slaps you really tried to get someone to play it. No, I never did. Never did. Mm. Yeah. But you wanted to do it yourself, right? Yes. So those slaps you actually received them. Talk to us about growing up. How was it growing up on your mom? Very strict. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But she doesn't slap me always. <laughs> Not every time. <laughs> okay. But most of the things I do, she she nags and all those things. Mm. Okay. So I just added the old slap thing. Mm. to be like a trademark or something. Mm. What was her first response when she saw one of the videos? She said, you're talking about me. You're doing it. And I said, mommy, this is just how the things you do. She's like, no, I don't always do this. I don't always do it. And then she just laughed at the back and was like, okay. I thought you girl. received a slap for putting out so, for sure. You started, you started this a while ago. What year did you start doing this? 2015. 2015. Mm. That's a while. That's almost, well, it's about four years now. It's about four years. Yeah, so she's, she's four come four to years. terms with the fact that you play her really well. Yes. Mm. Does she give you ideas? No, but the things she does every day gives ideas. So mm. you still live with Momsi? Yes. All right. Mm. So is, is it your ha home that's the main location or you go out to find locations? Just the own, the house general. Because there's no other place to play the mother and daughter role. Mm. Okay, so after you started all of this, what has it, how has it, um, the uh, Instagram uh, celebrity kind of thing, how has it affected your personal life? Um... I don't know. <laughs> how do you? You don't mean, know. You, yeah, I'm sure you got. I know you've seen some people that might recognize you and all of that. How? Just in school and uh, just a few people recognize me. Uh, they don't really know if I'm actually the one okay. because of the mother. 
stuff. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I, mean, I may mention that you look younger as the mother at that time, maybe because of you don't do makeup yes, as yes. the mother. It's, I mean, is it something that you might look to? Because actually, I, don't, I think, okay, she's without makeup, but she looks a little bit younger than, than the child. The child may be looking all too, you know, over. I've never thought of putting makeup on here at all because I feel with the hair tie and the glasses, mm -hmm. she looks old already. Mm -hmm. I actually don't like myself when I see myself like that. I feel like I'm... <laughs> Very old. Really? Okay. Yeah. So has it started? Let's has it has this started paying off for you financially? Yes. In mm -hmm. in what ways? Maybe have, have you had Just roles adverts. in movies or adverts? Yeah. Adverts. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you ever That's have you uh, have you had any movie stint? Have you had any call from any producer or director to get to do something? No. Is that something you're looking forward to doing? Yes, I am. Mm. So Nollywood, uh, basically, let, let let's talk about your inspirations in Nollywood. Who would you want to be like? Who would you want to fashion yourself like? Um. Messi Johnson. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why Messi Johnson? I. She's part of people I grew up watching and I really loved. So mm. if I happen to want to go into Nollywood, I would love to act with her. Away from away from what you're doing now, what is what are your actual goals and aspirations? You want to be a director, a producer? What would you like? What to else do, do you what do? Else? Yeah. Mm. Um. I want to be a cinematographer. Okay. Mm. So go into more of that mm. just to mm. add to it so president what are you studying in school tourism tourism hospitality and events management oh All that's right. that's that, that's quite very cool and uh, how what level are you in school now 400 about to graduate mm. we're talking about editing you edit your videos yourself yes. how did you learn how to edit and what do you what do you use to edit do you have a laptop and all of that yeah um abula taught me how to edit yo abula okay yeah, he's my boyfriend. Okay, oh. he taught you how to, how to, okay, does he also, he also helps you edit and all of that? And Sometimes, because we don't, we are not always together. Okay, so. and then you learned how to edit and put on yourself, and then you, you shoot yourself at times. Yes. But if you're not shooting yourself, who else, who else does he that for me. you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. all right. So, you know, you mentioned your boyfriend just now, um, yeah. and that it must have been really great to note that he could help you out with all these things. What else um, do you work on with him? Um... Nothing else. I actually is the one that brought me into comedy mm -hmm. in 2015. It brought me into it. Okay. So mm -hmm. it made me know that I could do this and All right. I could does act. Your, does yeah. your mom? Does your mom? Does your mom? Uh, <laughs> you smile. So you know what I to ask, eh? So what? Well, your, your mom hears about Your Abula. mom's reaction <laughs> to him must be interesting. Yes. Because mm -hmm. first she didn't know we're dating, so okay. Later on, I had to tell her. All right. Mm -hmm. So show us. In your Yataoma fashion, how she reacted to meeting Abula? Action. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say anything. No, she had to say something. No? She had to say something, though. No, she just said, okay, and then she'll go at the back and call me. Okay. Okay. And, and then what did she say? You. Let's, let's, let's have that discussion now. So you have a boyfriend? <laughs> yes, mommy. Okay. Continue. <laughs> continue. <laughs> she she said continue. continue. Yes, and, and then, then react. along the line, if anything happens, and then you can tell her mommy, maybe I told you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Deal with it. Wow, mm. wow, wow, wow. That's wow, wonderful. Wow. Okay, so now I know you have. I know you said you want to be a cinematographer and all of that. Future plans. Let's see the next five years. How far do you see this character going? Is this something you want to continue while you do other stuff? Yes. Mm. But um, I don't know. You okay, don't but know. Let, let, let's talk about let's talk about because let's talk about the challenges you face putting up your skits because definitely you have to yeah. you face some challenges. Let's talk about that. You know, what kind of challenges do you face? Um, having to shoot myself because. Mm. I have to put the camera on the tripod and then there's actually no one to even set the camera. So I have to go in front, check if it's working, come back. Come back. And then sometimes the camera might not even be recording and I'm done with the whole oh, stuff. Oh no. Then I have to start again when I find out it's not good. Um, I think you need a team because and I think any team that jumps on board, you know, shooting with you is going to be making some real money. Hopefully someone's watching right now is going to reach out to you. Seriously, it's a pleasure having you here and we want to take you to our kitchen. Uh, Chef Ayola has been hard at work. Let's do this. Let's hope you don't Let's break go. any plates today. No. <laughs>
<laughs> nice one, Mike. Yep, 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 yep. Hi, yep. Tauma. Hi, Tauma. Hello. So Welcome people think we are saying Tauma. Beautiful. Great, 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 Welcome great, Welcome to the kitchen, Tauma. Beautiful skits there, nice. Thank you. All right, so with us this morning here in the kitchen is Chef Ayola of AY Sobs. And yes, this morning, well, she didn't make it for you because we know you're that you're fasting. Mm. But this morning, she's actually made um, pad thai. Mm. Yes. Pad so pad. actually, this is like a Thai dish. And um, well, basically, she just take us through how she put this together. Oh. Over to you, Ayala. OK, so um, what we did is, I don't know if you watched us from the start of the show. Um, what we did is use rice noodles, so like rice steaks. That's why they're very thin. And we soaked that in like one more time. One, no, room temperature water okay, yeah. for about 45 minutes. And we just tossed a lot of vegetables together in a pan, put a little bit of oil, seasoned it with our tamarind, and there you have it. Yeah. All right. So that's, that's just like stir fry noodles. Yes, Nothing essentially. Complicated, this basically. food does not have pepper. Mm, it has just a, just a tad bit because I had to make it a bit Nigerian, but no, it's not supposed to be spicy. It's supposed to savor all the flavors and uh, it's a sweet she's dish. Not, she's fasting, so <laughs> why can't It's for, it's for I two tea. Two tea is the one that's giving me. Well, um, thank you so much, Chef Ayola. I really like <laughs> a big shout out to Homie Angie for thank our you. kitchen okay. accessories. And of course, a big shout out to Fola at Fola's Place for the amazing hairstyling. We love you. Mm. And Thursday edition has been fun. Yes. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Have Ta a great day. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I is out. Hi. And you look like a fit fan person, man. I'm sure you'd have loved this if you're fasting.